What's up guys, it's Let's Talk About Cars, and today we got back with Ricky Bobby himself from the movie. How do you feel, Ricky Bobby? I feel fucking great. Okay, so today on Let's <laughs> Talk About Cars, we're going to talk about the new Camaro and like the new generation of what Chevy's doing. And how we think about it. So, right now, me and Ricky Bobby had the 2017 Chevy Camaro. And I'm going to say this straight up. I do not like the back. Yeah, it was... It, it was for only... It, it's an 8-speed. It's a V8. But it feels like a 4-cylinder. The thing just does not have its old feeling where it would give you a actual scared feeling it's like oh we're going somewhere yay not a heart attack i mean it's 455 horsepower but things crap the right height's way too high on it yeah the front the i will give props the front looks pretty good and yeah, the front looks good like on the zl1 it was they like they started with the front and then slowly got drunk then it got to the back. Okay. Then the, that happened. I say on the ZO one it doesn't look too bad. The spoiler kind of helps with the back. Um, I feel like if they didn't have the spoiler, it would be, look even worse. Um, but yeah, the back is ugly. It, it kind of looks like... Um, it doesn't look like a muscle car kind of feel. It looks like just a normal... Well, the front looks like a muscle car. Yeah, yeah, that looks like a front. I'm talking about the back. Just It looks like a normal like Chevy Cruze or something. They, oh, hmm. like if someone's driving and they're coming up to it, they want to say, oh, that's a Camaro. They would say, is that a Chevy Cruze or something? Some just normal car? And uh, the interior, they've been keeping like the same like for the driver. It's been like the same, yeah, and I mean, the touch screen isn't too dislike, big. It kind of looks weird. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's coming at you. And what? they put the knob, like if you look, like if you ever got a good look at it, like it, the, the screen kind of looks like it's coming at you. And the knob for like choosing stuff, instead of putting it down by the gear, like by the shifter, they put it all the way up on the display, so you have to like go up to it. So that could lead to crashes, because you have to look down at it. What? Instead of driving and just... Okay, on if the display, tire you up, know it's the safer. knob. But you have to look over. Uh, yeah, you can feel it, though. I don't think that would be too much of a safety hazard. Well, you could hit the shifter. They kind of improved, like, the outside and the sides. But I, st I still don't feel like the dials and stuff. I mean, yeah, the, the dials are different. It's just the same kind of, like, concept over and over. Yeah. The steering wheel is not too impressive. It's kind of plain. It's kind of flat. Looks like it's made out of plastic. Kind of does, yeah. Um. The seats, they're kind of... They don't really hug you, like... The Charger Hellcat, they have it like where it, it kind of goes around, not too much, but in this, it's just normal seats. Kind of looks like cardboard, just like, it's just flat. It's just not really... Gross. I mean, they're nice seats, it's just, I'd rather have some seats that kind of hug you like the Challenger or Charger. Am I bad saying the 400, uh, the 455 horsepower, that is not a stock one, that is the SS do you know what the ZL one is? Uh, give me a second. A ZL, a, which one you said? ZL one. ZL one? Yeah. Oh. There. It has 640 horsepower. 
Which, that isn't bad, but... They need to catch up, like, Dodge is doing the... Um... Worth catching up, we have... We can outrun the Camaro, and we have 538 horsepower in the GT350R. Which is kind of sad. Well, because, the good thing about the have, Mustang is that it has a good look. We still have our look. Yeah, yeah still have the our Mustang looks. has probably the best looks out of all of them. Maybe... It has the best looks, but the Hellcats have, like, mean looks. The Hellcat has... Like, the Hellcat has mean looks and the performance. We have... Looks and we have our and turning it to Europeans. We still kind of look, well, we also have a right of still saying we kind of look like our first generation. Yeah, the Hellcats they look almost they look pretty damn close. Yeah, Camaros like they are know, so off, uh, they like, change so much from circle lights to whatever shape that is. Well, Mustang did that too, but. And oh, the charger. The, in there. Yeah. the lights are kind of like a given. It's just like the body style looks like a super lot different. Yeah. It's an 8 speed. I mean, nothing new to that. Nice. So I heard that they're going to 10 speed too on the Camaro. Yeah, that's. Yeah, so. That's, I don't know. I think they're trying to do outdo the Hellcat with the eight speed and how fast I it shifts. Think, yeah. But That's I don't know. I, I think do. they're trying to do too much. I think they need to lower it down a little bit and then go back up because they're kind of they, what they need they're going to down, trying to going up. Horsepower. Because they well, they're trying to turn it. Well, they're trying to go against yeah, Mustang. Just, so it has it has more than the Mustang. It needs a little bit more like. The body needs to be fixed in the back. The back needs to be fixed, okay? Whoever did that was pretty drunk. We're sorry. We're sorry, but you didn't do good. Yes, you did not do good at all. And... Just go back to the old, like... Just go, like... Yeah, go to you might want to use the 20... Th th yeah, one. or 14. Yeah. Just go back to the old okay. back. Just and... Not a Chevy Cruze, like... Uh, it, it, no. Cruze? <laughs> the right height you guys need to lower it a little. It's kind of really high up. It's. Um, and what was the deal with the driver? He crashed. Oh, That's yeah. embarrassing. Oh, yeah. He yeah. nailed the wall. When they were, I don't know if you guys seen this, but if you look up uh, 2016 Camaro Nurbur testing, Nurbur. you'll see the when they with, yeah Nurburgring when they were testing it, the guy the differential the in the back it locked up and th he threw the car into the wall that is embarrassing oh you have hundreds mm -hmm. of people watching and then they have it was, uh, it, it was cameras and all this showing it basically the whole world and then they crash it it's embarrassing um so I think do you have anything else to say Ricky that, Bobby no I think that cuts so the end of this cut is saying the Camaro looks absolutely like We're stupid sorry in the back. We're sorry fans who really like Please. Camaros, but you just did not do good this year. Very yeah. Year. This year you guys kind of fell to the bottom of the leaderboard. Like you fell behind Honda this year on the back. On the front, it's still on the front is still up, no, but the, the front back, still looks good, the back kind of fell. It looks like a saggy old person. Yes. Okay, thank you guys for joining that. us. Uh, thank you, Ricky Bobby, for joining us for this. Uh, let's talk about cars. And goodbye. I don't know if you guys, do you have anything to say, Ricky Bobby? Nope. Okay. No, it's a fucking beard, though. Give me the fucking. Give me the alcohol. Yes. What you doing? Got him. Yeah.